my friends. It's good to be with you again this week. I want to start today with a song, and I bet it's one that you already know. It's called This Little Light of Mine. Maybe you learned it at church school or at camp. Maybe your family sings it with you. But I have a little light here, and we're going to sing the song. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Wait a minute, something's not right. My little light is not shining. Oh, <laughs> it's not shining because I don't have it plugged in. Wait one minute. There we go. <laughs> that works. Let's try that again. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. <laughs> In order for my little light to work, it has to be connected to a power source. It has to be plugged in so it gets the energy that it needs to shine out and do what a light is supposed to do. So right now I'm gonna turn it off and put it back down here. And we're gonna think a little bit about that idea about staying plugged in and connected to a power source. Who is our power source? And um, I'm gonna share a scripture with you today where Jesus tells us that he is the one that we need to stay connected to, that he is our power source. And he uses a very interesting image of Jesus being the vine and of us being the branches that grow off from the vine. You know, um, it, Jesus uses the example of a um, vineyard and uh, the vine is actually growing grapes um, that was used to, to make wine and, and grapes to eat. And Jesus is using some pretty specific words that tell us about um, how our lives are going to be so much better when we stay connected to him, like the branches are connected to the vine. So I'm going to read in the book of John, chapter 15, and I'm going to read verses 5 through 9. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them, bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered and thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. That is such a great message that Jesus is sending to us. He was talking to his disciples about how important it is to stay connected to him. I want to show you a picture that my friend, Reverend Lisa Gustafson painted, and it's of Jesus. And um, when I get it so you can see it, um, over here is the vine and there's Jesus looking at all the fruit that are growing off of the branches coming off of that vine. This vine is very strong and is holding up the branches so that these grapes can grow nice and beautiful and dark and, and nice and juicy. It's really a great picture to help remind us about the scripture that we just read. Jesus says the most important thing about being in a relationship with him is staying connected to him. Just like our little light had to stay connected to the electricity, Jesus is saying, you need to stay connected to me. You know, um, if you go out in your garden and you're doing some pruning and cutting away branches that maybe you need to make a plant a little smaller like I did, and you cut away a branch, before too long, it starts to look withered 
It doesn't look healthy. It's not getting the water it needs. It's not getting the energy that it needs from the main stem of the plant. And it starts to look really droopy and not very healthy. And then eventually the branch will dry out and become withered and bent and it won't grow anything at all because it's so dried out and it's only really good at this point to put on a fire to help a fire to burn because it's not gonna grow anything else. It's, it's, it has died, it's no use to the plant, it's no use to us. So it's cast aside. And what Jesus is saying is that when we wanna stay strong, when we wanna grow in our lives and we want our lives to bear fruit, we need to stay close by him. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, Miss Cindy, <laughs> We can't grow fruit. We can't grow apples or pears or grapes on our bodies. And that's not really what Jesus is saying. He's asking us to grow some spiritual fruit. Fruit like faithfulness and kindness and generosity and gentleness. And one of the most important things that we need to grow in terms of spiritual fruit is love. He's saying, you know, my father loved me and I love you, and you need to stay connected to me so we can love each other and be in that relationship like a branch on a vine. When that branch gets cut off, it withers, and it's not any use to anybody. But when we stay connected, we can be of so many uses to the world and people around us. You know, we can be generous with our food and our time and our money and share those with people who don't have the good things that we have. Um, we can uh, be just thoughtful and kind to people who may need help crossing a street. Someone may need just a wave and a hello. Someone might need a phone call. Someone might need a card saying, hi, I'm thinking of you. There are all different ways that we can be kind and thoughtful to the people that we know and love. Um, and we grow in our faithfulness. As we grow and we learn more about Jesus, we learn, I think, in a much deeper way how much he cares about us and how our lives can change and be much more fruitful, more um, beneficial to others when we stay in that relationship with him. And just like the light needs to, to stay connected to the power, and the branches need to stay connected to the vine. Jesus is saying, stay connected to me because I am the source of the love that you are going to need to be a Christian in this world. And you're going to get a lot of love back. And so it's that give and take that we have. Um, and we've talked a lot about being in a relationship with Jesus Christ. And uh, he's asking us to be um, his hands in the world, his eyes to go out and do what needs to be done. And to do that, we need to stay connected. I'm gonna ask you to share a prayer with me now, please. Dear God, we are grateful for your son Jesus and his words, I am the vine. He teaches us for our lives to be fruitful, we need to stay connected to you and to Jesus himself. We thank you for the Bible that contains the commandments and shows us ways to be kind and generous and fruitful. You are the source of our power to do good and to make changes in the world. Help us to stay plugged into your love. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great week. Stay plugged in, <laughs> stay connected to Jesus. Have a great time this week. I will see you again soon. Bye now.